New at 11, boaters have a reason to celebrate tonight. After months of maintenance, the St. Lucie Lock is finally open again. It's the main route for boaters to travel east and west through the state. WPTV's Megan McRoberts looks at the impact. Well, boaters either had to get to one side of the lock or the other before it closed. They could wait three months to travel or if they could, they could take an alternate route, but that was an additional 165 mile detour. A busy day for the first time in months at the St. Lucie Lock. We had boats stacked up on both sides, ready to come through the canal and the lock as soon as it opened this morning at 7. Boaters, some who had been waiting three months to finally continue on their journeys east or west through the St. Lucie Lock. It was closed totally for the first time in 26 years to east-west traffic between the Gulf and Atlantic on January 4th. Some boaters scrambled to make their cross-state trips before the closure. Some people did, a lot of people did, but we just... We kind of laid back people, so we don't like to rush. <laughs> but Chisty Harrison and her husband decided to wait out their annual crossing to the Bahamas and make use of the time to spruce things up. All my beautiful teak, as you can see. <laughs> Lots of little projects that don't usually get done because we were waiting. Not only boaters, but also 30 manatees were waiting to get through who were caught upstream from the lock. The Army Corps, FWC, and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service ran into a cold weather crisis. When the temperatures start to drop, the manatees normally flow eastward and they find warmer waters. They were basically trapped. So the crews created a last minute refuge, like a warm water spa for the manatees at an additional cost of almost half a million dollars, but it spared the manatees. Now with the reopening, boaters are saving time and a lock system fully maintained and overhauled to make sure it's safe for boaters like Harrison for years to come. Oh, I'm sure there's gonna be a zoo here going back and forth. And the lock is a rather busy one in the first three months of last year to compare it to this year when the lock was closed, more than a thousand boats passed through. In Martin County, I'm Megan McRoberts, back to you.